Hello, this is Gina from the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport, Maine. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a 3D model, paper model, of a building. And today's building is the Fowler True Ross House, which is on the campus of the Penobscot Marine Museum. The Fowler True Ross House uh, is an excellent example of federal architecture. In 1837, the Fowler family, Miles Jane and children Rufus, Martha Jane, Emily, and Cyrus True, built the large part of the house that faces Route 1. Miles was a sea captain and the family also farmed. So what is federal architecture? Uh, federal architecture is characterized by size, emphasizing size, symmetry, and proportion. It was popular from about 1780s to the 1830s. Um, it's often square or rectangular and two or three stories high. The windows are laid out in a line and there's often five of them in a row, like this example that you see in front of us. And an elliptical fan light window over the front door was also common and you do see that on the Fowler True Ross house. So we can get started. So what you will need for this project is the pr template printout. And I printed it out on cardstock. You can do it with paper, but it's a little bit easier if you use cardstock. Um, something to color with. Uh, you'll need a glue stick and some scissors. And if you want to decorate for the holidays, then some glitter glue is really fun. Okay, so your first step is to color it in, and you don't really have to stay within the lines because you're gonna be cutting it out anyway. So go ahead and color it in. And then after you color it in, you're gonna cut it out, and you should end up with something that looks like this. When you do cut it out, make sure you kind of cut these slits here and here, and then this one right here too because um, those are going to fold under. So then we're going to fold everywhere we see those gray lines. So I'm going to fold here. And you're going to fold in toward the back of the paper. I'm going to fold the house first and then we'll fold the other flaps. Get that one folded. Okay, and then this one on the end is a little short one, but we have to fold that one too. And then I'm going to fold the roof down. And we have several of these projects available at the Penobscot Marine Museum. And this is one of the easier ones. If you want something a little bit more challenging, there are some more challenging ones too. And I'm folding this one. And you'll notice that all of the flaps are numbered and that's gonna come into play very soon in the next step. And one more to fold, and then all the folding is done. Okay, so now you will see that um, on this side, it's kind of like the, the side that's the left of the front, um, you will find number one, fold and glue. So that's where we're going to start. So our goal here will be to fold that one over and then fold number two in like that. So take your glue gun, or sorry, your glue, and go ahead and fold our glue all the way on number one. And we'll do number two while we're at it as well. Kind of cover that flap with glue. And then you're gonna line the roof up with the building right there. And so there's number one is in place. 
And now I'm sticking number two in place. And hold them there for just a moment to kind of let that glue dry, at least enough to hold them into place. Okay. And now number three is this flap here. So we're going to go ahead and put a lot of glue on that one. And then connect it. There we go. So again, this is a pretty simple example and we are almost done. So we've done number three. Now number four, number five, and number six, we'll glue them all at the same time. And then we will kind of put them together in that order. Okay. Number four is in place. And I'm holding it there to let it dry just a little bit, but I gotta move quickly because I have fresh glue on the other pieces as well. Okay, and number five is in place. I'm holding it there. And then let's get number six there too. And number six is in place. So at this point, if you wanted to decorate a little bit, you can and that's like that's the when you can kind of pull in your glitter glue have some fun do whatever you want with it and you have a small paper 3d house thank you again this was gina with the penobscot marine museum in searsport maine